Hey groomers, Tyler here out of Colorado. I wanted to show you how to change an and display drive. I've seen a lot of questions about it lately and a few people messing it up. It's very simple, very, very simple. Here we go. So, there. First thing you need is an Andis clipper. Next thing, let's let's take off the hinge. Just so you can really clean it out. Because you don't need to take off the hinge every time, but this clipper definitely should have the hinge taken out and uh, cleaned up. So that was a regular Phillips screwdriver. As you can see, there's all this fur and hair stuck back there. Here's a little spacer. Don't lose this piece. It's either going to be on the back of your hinge or stuck right here. This is where it goes, just like that. So I like to clean it off, set that aside, make sure the hinge is good. I take the hinge apart, get all the fur off of it. I blow it out with an air compressor. Turn the air compressor off for the video. You can see it's cleaner now. Both springs are there. And I'll just test the hinge real quick, just like I did in my other video. Feels strong. So it looks like we're good there. And yeah, it has no movement, so we're good. Hinge is good. So we can put the hinge back together, which remember, just line up those two holes. I have another video on this. Just like that. And then we'll take off the blade drive cap. Check to make sure this uh, foam is there. This one's starting to feel a little dried out, so I'll replace that. You just peel it off and stick a new one on there. Very simple. And then, time for the blade drive. You take your P1 screwdriver, undo these screws. I like to use my fingernail so I don't lose the screw when I'm taking it off. And... It's hard to do it with the camera right above me, but yep, see I just bumped the camera. There's the screws, it's a P1. Make sure you have the smaller Phillips. Phillips 1 is what P1 stands for. And just so you can see them side by side, you can't use the same screwdriver for them both. This one's a Phillips 2, this one's a Phillips 1. And we just peel off the blade drive just like that, you're gonna wanna clean it all out. And then you wanna make sure you get your new, actually, Andis blade drive, the one that comes in the packet, like this. There's an item number. They change pretty often, so we'll see. And then it says Andis on it. Make sure it's brand new, in the package. There's a lot of fake ones out there. That don't work as well. So, again, there's all this hair and everything in there. So you can brush it off. I like to use an air compressor, but just showing you a different way. So I'm just gonna use the air compressor again real quick. And you can see there's like this hair coming around the motor. I just kind of pick it all out. You know, less hair, cleaner, less friction. See? Very nice and clean now. And this is the bearing there, the motor that moves around. If you look close, there's a dimple here and here, and then there are two slits right there and on the other side. So, and then if you look at the blade drive, there's a slit here. See it? And then the dimple right there and that's the same on both sides dimple or hole and then a slit right here so you got to make sure all that lines up i like to just give it a quick you know that real quick um makes it a little quieter and then you just line it all up see how the side is not down, there it goes. Same thing on this side, see how it's not down all the way? 
Make sure everything's lined up and then just push it down a little bit. Now something's not lined up, that's why it's not going down. And it, there we go, you hear that? Just went down, seated in there. A lot of people miss that part and then they wonder why it sounds loud. And then you just do everything in reverse, put all the screws back in. So imagine I did that, then you put your spacer back and then your hinge is right over the blade drive like that. Make sure your hinge screws are always snug in there. And that's it. Easy peasy. Sorry for the long video. Bye.